Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lion Heart 84 and I'm attempting to show today, I don't think I can get it to focus, when your pawpaw flowers like these are finished flowering, they'll either drop off complete like this, which I'm attempting to show you, or you'll be left with two or three or four possibly little fingers like these ones here after the petals have fallen off. Now at this point you can probably presume that the flowers have not actually set and if they stay tight together it's quite likely that if I touch this it's quite likely they'll fall off, they actually haven't as it happens. Now that is normally an indication that the that the flowers haven't been pollinated. I think have a look, another look at another one back here if I can get to it. You might be able to see better on that one. At that point, the fingers of the bunch, if you like, are very tightly together, which is an indication that they haven't set and aren't pollinated. Now, if I move a little bit higher up, if I can do it without dropping the phone. If you get to the stage of See if I can focus in on it. So it's very hard one-handed and with the sun shining in a funny direction to actually... That's not successful. Let's try and get around here and do another one. Not having much luck today. That's better. If you get to the point, it's not much better, but it's a bit better. If you get to the point where it looks more like the fingers of a banana sticking outwards, ah, got it at last. If you see your embryo fruits looking more like that when they start to spread outwards like a finger of a banana there's a very good chance that you've got fruit set there now what tends to happen uh, what tends to happen with pawpaw especially in our cold climate in the UK is you'll get a number of the fruits will appear to set there's some more on that branch up there and then suddenly come about June or July late June early July it'll drop a certain proportion of the fruits but this is looking quite promising at the moment it's when they get to about acorn size that they tend to drop off if the conditions aren't correct but it does look as if this particular part prima may have set a few this year but again if you look at these ones down here you can't be sure yet that those ones have set because they're they're still tightly closed together and that's a sign that they probably haven't set. So I just thought I'd show anybody that was interested, especially in the UK, the difference between the ones that probably haven't set and the one that at the moment looks like it's set, but of course um, these could fall off in a month's time. I got four fruits last year off this plant, so I'm optimistic getting another two or three this year, <coughs> but we'll see what happened but I thought that might interest anybody who's sort of growing pawpaw for the first time that's the American pawpaw Acemina triloba and might be interested in seeing if they've had flowers if they've got any potential fruit set so it's very hard to focus because it tries to focus on on other plants behind but there we are it gives you some idea thanks for watching the video please remember to give me a thumbs up obviously you can share it with anyone you think this might be useful to Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and of course click the bell if you like updates on this plant throughout the summer and whether or not these pawpaw fruit get any bigger or drop off. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.